Hi everyone, Brody Sima here. So we are on the week 14, uh, where we gonna, on the GB1 we have a lot of self-defense, as well as side mount, GB2 and GB3. We have hand throws, hip throws, and side mount. Okay, um, it's very important to understand the importance of the side control. And even though uh, it's not something that, especially on the defensive part, something that you aim to be at, but it's very important to know how to recover. That one of the most important things for me when I start to understand more about Jiu Jitsu. Uh, I used to have a very good uh, guard because I was the first, first generation of my, of my uh, academy. And um, I realized that my side control escapes was, wasn't so good because I didn't get so often that. So it's very important to understand how to escape from the side control. Therefore, by understanding the side control escapes, you understand what the person on the bottom needs to do in order to escape the side control so you can start canceling that as an attacker and learning from the defenses how to control my opponent and learn over the top. So it's pretty much a very important uh, week for us, okay? I would like to show you some of details that made a big difference on, on my game. And I'd like to call here Professor uh, Jacob to show you guys. So, uh, one of the tips that I'd like to give you guys is the understanding of how to control someone's elbows underneath and the hip control, right? So, when a person tries to escape side control, very important that he's going to try to hip out. Like, you want to bridge me up, hip out, and then get out, and then you can skip this or regain the the guard. Here we go, this kind of stuff. So, one of the key things that I learned that makes a huge difference was squeezing the elbows as well as the control. I can control hand to hand, but holding tight. My hand is not, not long enough. I can slide to the triceps and control and make the elbow control. But very important that I squeeze against my knee. See that? Look. Never, ever, straight the far leg, the, the leg of the hip. Never do that, because that's when the guy can regain really half guard at any time. Uh, so that easy. Always pinch against the elbow and secure like that. It's very hard. You try to do it. You cannot skip, squeeze. So it's a very important tip for you guys in order to go to the... Uh, thank you, Professor. Thank you. In order to this week, you will help a lot when you're learning, okay? Um, I would recommend uh, the GB1 by our Master Carlos Gracie Jr. Lesson 79, a very good way of escaping the headlock, which shows a lot of the importance of the elbow control, and Professor Victor Steamer Lesson 84 at the GB2 program, which is a very good uh, submission, trapping submission from dealing with the person's arms, at the same time controlling the guy's elbows, okay? Guys. We as a Grace Barra, we exist for Jiu Jitsu. It's very important to take in consideration that our biggest value is our Grace Barra method of teaching. Okay? Our differential is our system. And this is, should be very appreciated. Okay? There's a lot of, we work a lot hard to keep the legacy alive from our Master Carlos Gracie and, and, and uh, thereafter. Okay? So don't take that for granted and um, appreciate and enjoy. I'll see you next week.